everybody and welcome to something a little bit different. Now you may be asking, now you may look around and say, Madison, this isn't a Sims game. And yeah, you'd, you'd be right, this isn't a Sims game. So you might be asking yourself, Madison, what are you, what are you doing? And I would respond, I'm making a video. Um, so Halloween's coming up. It's less than a week by the time I'm recording this video. I'm going as Black Widow, and I didn't buy a costume. I made mine. Well, I made most of mine. Like, I didn't make the bodysuit. I did buy that off Amazon, but I made, like... Well, I modified the guns. I made the holsters. I made the Black Widow's... Uh, Black, uh, the Widow Bites and all that stuff. Um... So I made a lot of it, and I made the belts and stuff. I made a lot of it, and I figured so much time and effort are going to go into this. It'd be a shame if I didn't show it off. You know, we live in a really bad part of the neighborhood where a lot of trick-or-treaters don't come to us. Um, so I put up Halloween decorations early so that hopefully they'll know that they can come to us. But... I don't know if it how much it's going to work. So I figured since not that many people are probably gonna see it on Halloween, why not show it off? You know to my followers. Um, even though none of you probably care because you all probably come came from um David's uh uh channel. So y'all don't care anything about makeup or cosplay. And you know what? Fair enough. Um, I get that. The next, um, Sims 4 episode is gonna be coming up Friday, right after Halloween. Um, so you don't have to wait that long. You might be saying, Madison, if this is a costume video, why are you doing your makeup? And my answer to that is, well, I was going to do all of my makeup in front of you guys, but, um, for some reason, despite deleting about everything on this recorder, um, it still can only take a couple of minutes of, of recording, which kind of sucks, um, so I'm doing this, and then... Cause I, Cause I did record me doing most of my makeup. I recorded during my eyes. Um, I did my eyes first because, you know, people tell us to do the eyes first because then if you mess up you can just swipe it away or you can just blend it with the foundation and stuff. So that's what I did. I listened and it went all right. It took a while, um, so this is my first time putting on fake eyelashes, and, I mean, I think I did pretty well. So here's the fake eyelash. You can kind of tell on this one, but on this one I think I did pretty well for my first time. Um, luckily Black Widow has a pretty natural looking natural looking makeup so I'm not gonna have to do much um so that's fun uh you're probably going to notice that there's going to be a cut in here in which I've changed clothes it's gonna be after this little scene so some of you might be asking Madison how, why are you going to change clothes is it the Black Widow costume and my answer to that is no, no, surprisingly it's not the Black Widow costume. Um, you know, I have college, um, and we have to present today. We have, um, an expo that we have to present at. Um, no one in our group did anything. We all put it together last minute. The teacher was like, yeah, it looks great to me, and we were just like, great, and left. It's a one hour class, so we don't really care about it that much, but we kind of need an A in it. 
because not getting an A in a one hour class would kind of be like failing an elective for those of you in high school. It's it's not anything to brag about. It you're going to want to pass to show other teachers that you can take the classes you want to take cuz no one's going to want you if you fail a 1 hour class. We have to present today. We have to do an expo, which is kind of like normal presenting in high school and middle school except the administration's coming down. So Yay for that. Um, and I have to dress up and stuff, so I figured I'm going to be doing Black Widow's makeup, and she has a natural look, and my look is natural. Like, So I added go to that uh, mirror to see, to make sure that it wasn't caked on or anything. Um, it looks pretty alright. Um, but, yeah, I figured I'm going to be doing... And uh, her look, sometime soon, might as well do it on the same day when I'm going to have to do makeup. So I am. And I'm recording it. Because, you know, why not? Um, I've lost almost all my brushes. So I'm doing this <laughs> with my hands. Um... Y'all probably don't care. Y'all probably don't even know that anything's going wrong. You're just like, yeah, this looks nice. Um. Okay, I'm gonna have to get up to make sure it's blending in well and stuff. Because if not, it's gonna look bad. Okay. Yes, better. Um. It is, let's see what time it is. No, I can't use that apparently. Jesus, it is 11. Took me about an hour to do this. Mostly just the eyelashes and eyes because I can do this in, like you saw, about 12 minutes. Um, I'm gonna add a bit of bronzer just to kind of highlight some areas that I want to highlight. Um, I know some people said that inside of the the eyelid to give it a pop. Um, a little shimmer here. Okay. Yeah. So, that's that makeup. It doesn't look bad. I'm gonna let my hair down. Oh wait, I <laughs> almost forgot. The finisher. <sighs> Smells really good. I think I got something in my eye. Basically, it keeps it like that for most of the day. Okay, so I will see you in no time at all for y'all. But for me, it'll be about four or five hours. So, hope you have a good time between this transition and the next. So that's all it'll take for you. Bye. See you in a little bit. I told you I'd be wearing a different shirt color. Hello. Again. Um, it was about no time for y'all, but it's been three hours. It's 2.30 now. Um, I, it was about 11 whenever I got off. So yeah, about three hours. That's fine. Um... So first things first, I gotta put my hair in a braid to keep it out of my face while I'm fixing what makeup I do have to do left, and then to put it into a wig cap, so I'll be back. Alright.
Alright, and here we are. I just put it in a basic braid. Um, nothing fancy. Um, I was going to try French braiding, but generally one that takes too long, and it's kind of difficult to do on yourself. I know a bunch of people who can only do it on themselves, but I cannot. I am not one of those people. So, I just did a basic braid. Besides, it's going to be up in a wig cap behind a wig, so no one's going to really notice. Okay, I did my eyebrows. So I'm going to have to take that off um, to, because right now they're brown and her wig is red. I almost said yellow for some reason. That's not correct. Um, I don't normally use makeup wipes because they're bad for the environment because it's just one wipe. Um, but this was at a um, hotel, so I figured just gonna get used anyway so might as well save money right um here I'm gonna use one of these just to make sure I'm really getting it I don't really want to redo my makeup so I'm gonna try and keep it pretty precise looks pretty good. Okay, so, <sighs> apparently I have to like white out, white it out, because trying to go from brown to red is not an easy task, so if it looks like we have a blank canvas, then it will be easier to get the colors in. I'm surprisingly good at doing my brows. As someone, these are really easy to do. I should do this more often. Instead, I just look ugly all the time. Even now, I look ugly. There, now I have no eyebrows. I shaved my eyebrows. Why would you do that? Okay. So I've already picked out a color that resembles her, the wig's hair color. It's this one. This dark red. So I'm going to put that on. Wish me luck. I feel like I'm just putting red on top of my brown brows. Okay. I did it. Would I say it looks any better? No. But I can say that I did it. And maybe it'll look better with the wig on. Let's see. So here's the wig cap I got in case anyone was curious. I doubt they are, but it just came with the wig. Um, so I'm just gonna put it on. Okay. So, here's my hair here. And here's my wig. Oh, this one. I say, it doesn't look that bad. You know, I think the problem is, is the color. 
I used of a I used a dark red while it's more of a red orange. That's my bad. I'm just gonna have to fix that. See, this is why you try on everything before you because if not, I would have been looking like an idiot. Not half bad. The eye I don't know what I'm going to have to do with my eyelashes, but, okay. I'm going to put on, I'm going to get out my bodysuit. Amazon! Here's the bodysuit. It basically is what it says. It's a black bodysuit. Here is the belt I made kind of have to shimmy into it. So that goes here. I'm really proud of that. Um, have the widow's bites that I made. These are made out of crowns. I got some old pantyhose. That's what the middle is, the white. Um, got some old pantyhose and um, cut that up hot glued the crowns to the pantyhose well actually I spray painted them black and then I put the uh, the crowns on, on hot glued them onto the pantyhose so these are the widow's bites don't look half bad considering they're crowns um, Here's the second pair to kind of shimmy it on because, uh, you know, I had to make it tight enough to fit it so it wouldn't fall off my wrist. So, here's the widow's bites. Um, and here's my belt. Here's the guns I'm going to be using. They are like old western guns. But I couldn't find any other guns that were cheap. These were about a dollar or five dollars. Um, these cost about five dollars, and I just spray painted it black, and then I put black electrical tape at the bottom so that I can hold it easier. And yes, it still works. Um, I also made gun holsters that I haven't yet, but I'm going to have to glue to the gun, to the belt, um, so that I can put it on, but that's not going to be much, um, and yeah, this is it, this is pretty much my entire outfit, um, like I said, it's not much, and I don't think anyone's going to watch it, but, you know, I need to be more comfortable with myself and making videos that I want to make, so I think this is a good step in the first direction. Um, I'll give you a whole body shot so that y'all can see. Here's my widow's bites, the belt, and then it's just a black bodysuit all the way down to the bottom, so you don't really need to see that. Um, but yeah, I liked it. It was a fun... It was a fun little project that I got to work on. Um, and like I said, I don't really think there's going to be a lot of trick or treaters at our house, so I kind of just wanted to show it off to y'all guys, see what y'all think. Um, yeah, let me know. Um, just let me know what y'all think. Um, and like I said in the first half of this video, if you don't really care about cosplay and stuff, you don't care about Halloween or anything like that, the Sims 4 video will be out next Friday. So the day after Halloween is when the Sims 4 video will be out. Luckily, because I was able to um, upload this video this quickly, or make this video this quickly, um, I might be able to get this uploaded uh, today. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I've been fussing and stressing about this costume for about two, three weeks now. Um, 
you know, I just, it was just a problem, everything, everything was a problem, you know, it was, I didn't have the supplies, then the stores didn't have the supplies, then, then I had the supplies, but I didn't have, uh, the time to do it, and then, finally, just this week, I was finally able to just get everything together, and it came together pretty nicely, it came together quickly, well, I don't want to say quickly, because it took about a week to do it, but, you know, I just had to be patient enough to do it, um, and yeah, you know, I liked it, um, and I feel like it's pretty good, I feel like, um, I feel confident, kind of, in what I was able to make, um, yeah, I just, I just feel happy and confident, um, but yeah, leave two likes and I might, uh, upload this video, like, m upload another video next year, next Halloween, um, uh, subscribe if you want to see more content in general, like my Sims 4, uh, 100 Baby Challenge videos, those, uh, those are coming up, hopefully, every Friday, um, but there definitely will be one the day after Halloween, so you can definitely look forward to that. Um, plus, it will help to make my day just a little bit brighter. Also, leave a like and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about the costume. Like I said, I probably could have bought one that looked better or cheaper, but I just wanted to be able to say that I made this one. Um, yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!